Hey y'all, welcome back to the village. I'm Aunt Lily Bat, and today we are going to be talking about my night at Canada's Collectible Games. I talked about my local game store um, in the last uh, video because I was getting ready to go to the Scarlet and Violet pre-release tournament, and y'all, it was so much fun. I got there early so I could browse uh, through some of their singles and meet some of the other trainers, maybe trade. And yes, I did do trades. I did get some singles. I've got them all right here for y'all. But the thing I'm excited the most to show y'all is what I got in my build and battle deck. Oh, I have never done uh, one of these before. I have participated in Pokemon play events before, but never in a pre-release, and wow. So, in this little deck box, and yes, I'm going to be using it as a deck box for my new deck, uh, it comes with a 40-card ready-to-play deck. I'm reading it off of here. It came with a promo card that I used in my deck, as well as four booster packs and yes it did come with a code card but i actually put that away because my friends told me that the tcg online is now available on iphone so yes it worked i downloaded it i've started playing and i might be keeping a few code cards for myself don't worry i'll still give out code cards in the videos just not all of them. I might keep one for myself. Let me know in the comment section what you think a good thing would be, like me keeping uh, maybe the promo just because it's, or the one that comes behind the promo, like in collection boxes, just because that's hard to get out and give y'all the code cards from the packs or what you think would be a fair deal. But anyway, enough of me babbling. Let's get to the cards. So these are all energy cards. Yes, I went through their energy box and picked out several that I did not have in the collection. There's even a base set uh, fire energy and the owner of the game store doesn't really charge for um, energies because people need them now i might have gotten too many i'm sorry brian if i did but most of these are like fairy energy from recents and a couple from older sets that i guess you can't use anymore so hopefully that was a fair deal because i kind of felt bad about taking so many but i asked him several times and he said it was fine so okay and these are what I got in my trip. What? Oh, my stuff's mixed up. I thought I had it organized by my new cards from uh, trades and my deck separated. It didn't happen. It, it got all mixed up when I wasn't looking. Or better yet not paying attention okay so i made several new friends uh one was named robin hi robin if you're watching <laughs> these are some of the amazing trades that she did with me nessa reverse hollow kogus trap reverse hollow uh arrow bike with the pokemon league stamp on there I think she had multiples of these, so I didn't mind taking them. Or uh, asking for them, I should say. Netball with the Pokemon League stamp. A Reverse Hollow Pluma. I forgot how to pronounce her name. She's from uh, a Reverse Hollow from Burning Shadows. And I did not have any of these in my collection. So, thank you, Robin, for trading with me. And letting me, me add this great stuff to my collection. We have a Hollow Rare Leon from Vivid Voltage that is going to go in our binder. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
and he needs some water energy. All right, we also have a unidentified fossil reverse hollow, and she all even traded me this. A Dark Rye EX from Fates Collide. Oh, wow, this is awesome. And she and many of the other trainers had amazing cards. I have got to do some, a lot more videos and get some stuff that is tradable. Because most of what I had, as y'all know, were like commons, uncommons, uh, reverse hollows, and a couple of rares, and only one or two ultra rares. I gotta get to more openings and make more videos. Mm. Ain't he falling down on the job? Oh well. Oh, and uh, I also met a new friend named Jerry, and he traded me uh, this Espeon V card from Evolving Skies. So this is also going, going to go in our channel binder. By the way, hi Jerry. <laughs> Shout out to him. Thank you for trading with me at Pokemon Night. Can't wait to play with y'all again. And thank you big time to Aaron, a new, another new friend. We didn't get to talk that much, but he was uh, so nice to help me build my new deck. So, it did come with a pre-constructed deck, but it also came with four booster packs, and I had no idea how to get one together. I tried, and he went through it and picked out some cards from my uh, booster packs to make it more powerful. I lost each game, but hey, I was having fun, and that's the most important thing. Alrighty, so let's look through these i'll just skip all the energies but these are gorgeous oh i love the new artworks the golden or the not golden the silver borders the little symbols at the bottom look so much more like the japanese cards i am super excited about this and i am holding way too many cards in my hand excuse me which is much harder when they're in sleeves, much more bulky. At least the cards are safe. And I did not have my sleeves or anything. No counters, no, um, damage counters, no dice. Whoops, I gotta bring all that next time. Okay, so some of the loose energies were in here. Whoops. I guess y'all can figure out which what's my deck and what's not. Here's some more energies that weren't in sleeves. Cause you can only have like 40 cards in uh, pre-release decks. I think you can have 60 cards in the regular uh, play events. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to double check that. I, at, like I said, I did get the TCG online live game now on my phone so i'm learning how to play y'all maybe i'll have a chance of winning next time okay so we have energy search energy oh electronic generator excuse me katie which did come in handy several times pokemon catcher rare candy didn't get to use that but i saw some other people do it and wow pokeball jacques i think that's how you say his name nest ball oh y'all Big tip that my friends Robin and Jerry gave me, if you have an older nest ball, hold on to it or save it for a really good trade because now that they have reprinted it, um, people are going to want the older version of the card that's only found in, I'm pretty sure it's only found in Sun and Moon base set. So, little tip that they gave me and I wanted to share with the village. Crushing Hammer. Uh, Cora Adon. That is a very super cool Pokemon. Um, sorry if I uh, butcher any of the new uh, Pokemon names. Cacnea. Quagsley. So cute. 
what was your starter that you went with in uh, Scarlet and Violet? I know the games are already out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Quagsley again. Quagswell. And Quags times three. That's as close as it's going to get for right now. Okay, Palmy. So cute. And they think they have one or more artworks for that one. And Palmo. Maybe I'm just thinking of this little guy. Yes. Different artworks for Palmo. And Paul Mott, the final form. And this was my promo card. You can see the scarlet and violet um, symbol right over here. My cards did get bent because, again, forgot my sleeves. Duh. And uh, they might be a little warped, but that's okay. Plus, probably keeping them in the deck box without sleeves uh, hurt them. Oh, well. These are going in my private collection, and I'm using them in the deck, so it's okay. Uh, Namona. Judge. Youngster. I can't pronounce that place. Stadium card. Penny. Oh. Uh, Ponyard? I don't know why I went blank on that name. Uh, Tarantula. Quagsley again. Whoop. Okay, that's fine. Quagswell again. Silly Cobra. Ryulu. I was not able to use these in my deck this time. Wag Trio. Very interesting. A um, aquatic version of Dog Trio that's in this new generation. So nice. I don't think there's any relation. And a grass type Tentacruel. That's not how you say its name. Toad's Cruel. Moving on. Go Goat. Some of these cards get my goat. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. Bisharp. Okay. Floatzel. Star Raptor. Very nice. Medicham. Oop, 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 oop. Brexish. Okay, the next one is another Quagsley and Quagswell, so skipping those. Mareep. Loving the new artworks, loving the new card design. Stone Jorner. Uh, Bruxish. A Hermit Crab. Sandy Dial. A Cycle. Cyclozord? I have got to watch some of the new anime. I do not know how to pronounce these names when they come out. Let's see. Magnemite. I do know that one. Silly me. It's late. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Clauncher. Dolly. It's probably as close as I'm going to get. Oh, y'all. Uh, this is a very nice drift blimp. Drift blimp excuse me. But... In the new set, if uh, what I got in pre-release is anything like what we're going to get in the stores pretty soon, the new card trick is one card from the back to the front or one card and then three cards because they give you not only one rare and one reverse hollow, there's another reverse hollow slot. Yeah, so I have no idea how it's going to be uh, for like a full art or anything. I did not pay enough attention when I was opening my cards because we only had like 15 minutes to build our decks. But it is going to be very, very interesting as the new set comes out. A Reverse Hollow Magnemite. Don't know why I didn't recognize that earlier. A Reverse Hollow Shock. A Reverse Hollow uh, for Coco's. Final form. That thing is terrifying. Cool. Especially as a hollow rare. That's still terrifying. A reverse hollow sanded dial. Okay, my 
Stuff got mixed up. More than I thought. A reverse hollow. Vivaloin. Sorry if I mispronounced that for some reason. Oh, wow. She is gorgeous. Arbo. Phil. Lilfa? Arbo Liva? Oh, I can't wait for this new Scarlet and Violet to come out. It's not on Japanese yet, but eager for the English to come out so I can learn how to say some of these names. Spilpa, Reverse Hollow, and the best card that I got from my pre-release packs was this uh, Full Art Toxicroak. Some of the others that I was sitting with also got Toxicroak. Robin, I believe, pulled um, a Gyarados, if I remember correctly. And my new friend, oh, completely forgot to say his name. Uh, Sylvimon, he is another YouTuber, so I am subscribed to him now. Go check him out. It's really cool. Um, he pulled like a Starly alternate art, or one of the full arts. I don't remember what it's called. But it was very, very cool to see that. And this is the prize pack that they handed out to everybody. Love their selection of the Pokemon to display on these packs. We could not use these in our decks for the pre-release, but they're nice to add to the collection nonetheless. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all this code card because I don't, can't get to my others, but I think that's fair. Alrighty. Challenge, or Collapse get Stadium. Blah, blah, blah. Auntie needs to go to bed. She's tired. Crystal Cave. Meloetta. And as you can see, they all have the Pokemon Play event uh, symbol. A double turbo energy, and Brian saw this and he was very impressed. I still don't know much about the game, so I guess that's a really good card. And a hollow rare uh, Elsa's Sparkle. You can tell I've been watching a lot of Frozen. And a grass energy. So, that is all that I got at Pokemon Night. As far as loose cards, oh dear. Ah. Now, I did pick these little babies up. Check lane blisters um, or sil uh, single pack blisters with the promo card and the coin. I am going to be saving the uh, Crania dose and putting it in the background for a little bit. But I thought we could go ahead and open this one up. I picked these up for $4.50 each, which was a great deal. I mean, come on, y'all. Uh, several stores are charging like $4.50 for just a regular uh, cardboard single pack, which is fine. It's fine. But I like paying for or getting the promo card and the coin for that much as well. So if I could get into this. Very nice Hisuian Basque Legion. And as y'all know, I have not really opened up too much uh, Silver Tempest yet. In fact, I think this is my first time opening up this set. Can't remember exactly what's in here. I'd have to go back and look. Here's a close up of the coin. And that needs to go in the trash. So here is a close up of the Hisuian Basque Lynn, excuse me. Why did I want to call that Basque Legion? I think that's the final form. And I'm going to go ahead and give you all the code cards. Be sure to let me know in the comments section what you think we need to do in the future uh, with other upcoming code cards. Should I give them all to y'all? Should I keep a couple for myself? 
I need suggestions and I would really appreciate your feedback. Also like and subscribe while you're up at it. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know how to throw that out there, especially when I finally remember it. Speaking of remembering things, I do have to show y'all a card that I found, yes, found, while we were down in Florida on vacation, as well as a Amazon delivery that I have gotten in for the channel. I'll show y'all what goodies I have, but probably need to save it for another video because this one has already gotten over the 20 minute mark. Well, I thought this might be a good idea, but I'm second guessing myself. Because it is late and Auntie needs to go bitty bye. I even forgot to turn off my heater. So I'm sorry for the any background noise that's causing. Alrighty, so Silver Tempest was a Lugia Pack R. Very nice. Might have to keep that one. Alright, here's the code card. Four from the back. We ain't back into Scarlet and Violet yet. Not sure when I'm going to get those for the channel. Just kind of depends on what I can find. And you know Auntie's always looking for a good deal. So Fighting Energy. Ooh, Anorith. Very nice. Always, I have been looking for Anoriths. Forgot they were in the set. Uh, Magnet. Matang. Blah, blah, blah. Auntie needs some sleep. <laughs> Drippy. Did I get that right? Nope. Drek look. Who's that Pokemon? I need to watch the anime. Fletchling. Dratini. Clang. Right. Clink. Whoops. Stunfisk. Toka Demaru. Love that card. Oh, wow. A reverse hollow Altaria. Oh, can we get a whale lord? Because that's what one thing I would love from the set, and I can't remember the others. Oh, nice. I am actually really great with that. Miss Magius. It's just a regular rare, but I will take it. Very happy to add these into the collection. Can't wait to see what um, we have in store for the village next time. Oh, by the way, when we reach 500 subscribers, we are going to be opening up that uh, Flareon VMAX uh, collection box that I have had in my background since August. Can't wait to... Uh, get that open. Y'all are incredible for liking, subscribing, and interacting with the video by making comments. Thank y'all so much. The village would not have grown this uh, fast without y'all. And I will see you again in the village really soon. And remember, be different. Be unique. Just be you. Because you weren't designed to be anybody else.